Ryan, and I'm Gustavo Lovami, and we're bringing you coverage of the upcoming game. It's that time of year again. The World Series has come to a close, the leaves are beginning to change, and the girls are wearing Uggs when they don't need to. As last season came to a close, we were left with a rivalry renewed, and many questions as to what would happen this year. Finally, as the season opens, we will have these answers. I was able to catch up with the captain of the pitches, and we discussed just how much this season opener means. Hey, what's going on? So, um, what are your thoughts on this upcoming game? Man, I, I think we're ready. We've been, we've been really working hard here. Two days since August, you know, we've really been putting the time in, been watching what we eat, putting our bodies, you know. We've been really putting ourselves in a position we need to be to play this game. Absolutely. So we got a glimpse of Ben and the pitches out at the gym working out, getting some pre-game workouts in. Uh, what are some of the stuff you guys do to prepare? Uh, you, we've been focusing on uh, obliques a lot, you know, it's your core, it's your base, you know, you got to have that strong. Um, a lot of power, we're going for power this yeah. season, so, you know, we've been doing deadlifts, bench press, you know, uh, toe raises, you know, maybe some yoga, Pilates, you know, I don't know, like, everything. A lot of stretching, it, done a lot of stretching. A lot of, we, should, we need to do more stretching, but yes, that's, that's something we need to work on. I, I can almost touch my toes at this point, so we're, we're getting better. Get much better. So, what are your uh, the pitches pre-game rituals? Man, it, it differs for everyone. You know, some of us like to hold hands and sing, kind of like a church thing. We do that for a little while. Move into some uh, freestyle rap battles, some really, really aggressive beats, some really uh, very scary beats. And then after that, we settle down, do a little bit of yoga, and head over to Swanee for the pre-game meal. Definitely. How do you and the pitches feel about going up against the Rascals? We're real confident, you know, we've been putting in the work here at Leach and at the Wellness Center, you know, we've been getting our workouts in. Uh, we know Vladimir Chavez, their star player, was putting up 135 last year, but my boy just put up 140, so we got that in the bag. We're all on a cycle right now, getting swole, you know, I, no time, no time, no time. No time. The pitches have done their work, and the grassles have done theirs. The time for improvement has passed, every minute at the gym, Every hour spent watching tape, it all comes down to this. Tonight we begin with two teams, a ball and a dream. But when the dust settles, only one will be victorious. Only one can reign supreme. The time has come for competition. The time has come for champions. The time has come for... Fly ball, he's one out, and now here's the second hit. Oh, no! Intramural oh, no! kickball. Brought to you by O'Doul's, non-alcoholic brew. All the fun of drinking without drinking. The weather out here is about 62 degrees. Out at FSU's FCS Sports East Complex. Two more runners, one more runner coming in. He's going, he's going. Safe now. <laughs> Scores 2-0. Oh, yeah. One out, here comes the pitch. Kick, ground ball left. Runners moving. Single. Pitch comes in. Kicks in the middle. <laughs> Third out, and the inning's over. The pitches will now take the field for defense. The pitches lead 3 0. Comes the pitch, it's a slow one. Here comes the kick. It's deep, it's deep, and the pitches can't communicate correct. One out. Base is loaded. Comes the pitch, two outs. Comes out there. And he misses a wide open fly ball. Gets the ball in. Instead of throwing it to the second baseman, he throws it back to his right fielder. Not the smartest play by the pitches. And the score is now 3-all. And here comes Superstar. Oh, he ground, ground ball to left field, though. Third baseman. It's missed by the pitches. The run is coming in. It's a triple RBI. And the pitches now trail 4-3. to three. Wow, and they are put a deep one into left field. Just behind the pitch's defense. And he's coming in on a triple. And he stays. And he's taken home. He steals home. And he's safe. Oh, my. The score is now 5-3. to three. The pitches on another huge mishap by the pitches. Ben Hurley is just livid with himself right now. Let's go see what he has to say. Ben Hurley, the right fielder. The pitch is down 5-3. How are you feeling tonight, Ben? 
I mean, That's we're feeling good. We're doing everything we got, but we just got to kick the ball harder. That's what it comes down to. We're just not kicking like we've been practicing. So, I mean, we're all doing stretches over there. We're, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta really focus on kicking this inning. You guys seem to be putting up a lot of fly balls, and they're catching all of them. You guys gonna change that up? Or we what? definitely need to make an adjustment, uh, a ground adjustment. Uh, they're, they're grabbing everything out there. They're ridiculous. We were not expecting this level of competition from the grass holes, so uh, we're gonna make the necessary adjustments so we can win this game. All right. Thank you. We're back to action with the pitches. Oh no! Ben Hurley with a foul ball missed the entire ball. But the ground, oh, and Ben Hurley, uh, he, oh no, and the pitches make another mishap on them, and another mishap. Here come the grass holes with two more runs. The grass holes now lead eight to five with more mishaps by the pitches, and it just seems to all be falling apart. Oh, and he almost makes the catch, but Ben Hurley just can't, can't come with it. Oh wow, the sun's real bad tonight, guys. The, the sun the is just, the ball goes up and then it doesn't, it doesn't come down. Grass holes to a nine to five lead now. The man on second for the pitches doesn't realize how many people are on base. Something can be done, but it's, it's a fair ball. We have the pitches rounding third. Here he comes, and Ben Hurley's running into an out, and he has no idea what he's doing. Oh! 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 Well, here at FCS Sportsplex East, this was an interesting game tonight. Pitches had to lose. They had to lose. Their, their game was just completely off. Most of the team played pretty decent. Ben Hurley, god-awful night. Terrible, terrible night. After the 9-7 to loss by the pitches with Ben Hurley, the star, usually the star, right fielder. However, after a couple of errors tonight, he may have to make some adjustments to get back to be the leader of his team. But So how did you feel about this game? Honestly, I think I put the team on my back tonight. I mean, I know I had eight or nine, ten, eleven errors. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this is a group effort, you know. What I'm doing is the same thing as everyone else is doing. There's one ball, there's one game. The rest of your team made two errors total and you had eleven. Uh-huh. Those are just statistics, my friend. When it gets down to the nitty-gritty, it comes down to heart. And I have the most heart on this team. Your team, your team put up seven RBIs. Okay. You had zero. Okay. Zero singles. Okay. And eleven errors. Now I'm not saying I had a career day, but I am saying that without me in right field, it would have been like twelve errors. There you have it, from Ben Hurley. Ben Hurley might want to quit. May never want to play kickball ever again. I think he should quit. You think he should quit? I think. He should. I, think I think after seeing the night. Disgrace, a disgrace yeah, to kick. F you too, Joe. Disgrace to kickball. They they seem very upset. The leader of their team, their left fielder, seemed very very upset. I don't I don't know. It's about 40 degrees out here now, and he was pouring water on himself. And I'm here after the game with star left fielder Kyle. He um he had a he had a decent night tonight for the pitches. A couple great plays in the outfield. He really had to cover for uh, the mishaps in right field by Ben Hurley. But he had he had a couple of great hits. Might have might have not have played his best game, but. Looked like you put a lot into it. So how'd you feel tonight, Kyle? I'm speechless because honestly, you know, I come off the trading block from Canada, and they just—I mean, how am I expected to carry the whole team like that? How can I be expected? I do this for my daughter. I do this. Hold on. <laughs> I do this. I'm just gonna start getting emotional. I just can't stand it. It's my life. My job. <laughs> I'd All right, we're not going to be able to do this right now. He seems too emotional. We're going to have to get back to this. Somebody else. I understand it. I, I wouldn't even call them a team, <clears throat> really. I'm not sure. I don't know. So we go to what they tell us is the most crucial player of the team to hear about the 9-7 to loss, their first <clears throat> loss of the season. Yeah, I don't really give a <laughs> I mean, I do this for the money. I do it for the, uh, for the ladies, you know. I can only throw so many strikes. Uh, they offered me 20 bucks to throw some strikes. Uh, I'm probably going to go up to Whataburger buy some food with it, probably take home some of their girlfriends. I haven't actually had sex yet, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. We'll see you guys next week, I guess.